she was on the phone with her husband and uh, she told him she felt lightheaded and he said the phone went dead. You know, she just veered off the road and she hit a pole. From then on, everything changed. One of the paramedics told me they usually only use the chest compressor three times, and uh, they tried a fourth time, and her heart started back. She was on life support, and they encouraged, like, by day two or three to take her off. And I said, no, not as of today, we're not going to do that. Then each day they kind of encouraged me, you know, more. And I'd say, no, you know, it's in God's hands. I talked to her. Uh, tell her what the kids are doing, you know, what we've been doing. I have a blow-up thing I'd wash her hair with. Then on certain days, I'd put her feet in it. And we'd have spa day, you know, I'd do her feet. I remember one respiratory nurse, she said, well, you know, she'll only get worse. And I, I told her, don't you ever say that to me again and never say it around my daughter. For years, I would hold her hand and say, just squeeze my hand, Jen, squeeze my hand, you know. And that never happened until she woke up. <laughs> That's what he told me. He says, your butt's starting to grow out front, Peggy. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> It really scared me at first, honestly, because I was gonna, you know, she started laughing and I guess I didn't even realize it was a laugh, but I didn't know for sure that she would continue to wake up. You know, it was that moment. And then I would take her out and she would start waking up again. And it was like, you know, this is happening. Hey, little bugger, <laughs> is it real bad? <laughs> I'd be going in, walking around with my butt all wet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> and I would ask her questions about the boys and stuff. I'd mix up their names, you know, like one middle name to the other one. This Skyler's middle name, Thomas, and she'd say, no. And I'd say, uh, is it Joe? And she'd say, yeah. And it's like, oh my gosh, she's answering me. Is Skyler the youngest of the three boys? Is he the oldest? Yes. <laughs> we tried the, the whistle and I, I it was it was a few weeks and one day it was just a little bitty and it was like, oh my god, he did it, you know. And from then on, I guess she learned to bring the air up. And then she could make a grunt, you know, and we started with, you know, just go, ah, ah, you know. And it, it was very small, but then pretty soon she could do vowels. The harder way is no. Oh. And oh, it's still pretty good. And the easier way is on. Ah. Very good. Try new. Oh. Keep going. I'm so glad you and I had a chance to make some music together. From rum pum pum pumming on a drum to this piano here to you making the most of that voice you've got. We do therapy here. I do the best I can with sitting her up. Like her chair is like this, so we sit up, you know, I sit her up and she's got to try to, you know, core strength. They you got to start with your top strength first. I told her if she woke up, we're going to go to one of Julian's games. I'm telling you, we're going to go. 
you know? And at that point it was like, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off, but we're gonna do it. And then when it came closer and she came home, it's like, oh, we are gonna do it. So we went to three games and she loved it. And it's like, okay, we gotta go to senior night. <laughs> It was really cold that night, but we just bundled up, put a blanket over. Toward the end of the game, I said, Jen, it's really cold. Do you want to leave early? No. <laughs> we had to stay to the whole thing. For a few years there, you know, it was like she was forgotten. Your friends quit coming. The boys, it was very hard. You know, it was like mom was gone. I always believed she was in there, but then you have a little spot where I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> the look back, you know, it was the talking to her, communication, the you know, the touch, everything that plays a part. I remember a lady at work said, uh, how do you do it? And it's like, I just do what I have to do. You know, it's something I gotta do. I would tell Jen, I've got so much love in my heart for you. You know, I just, it goes without saying, you, you just do it. Are we a team? Yeah. Did you have fun at the football game? Yeah. That was a big deal, wasn't it? Yeah. We have a lot of work to do still. So we stay busy. I want her to walk. I want, I want everything as much as possible, you know, and we don't know what's possible. So we just have to keep, keep doing it. <laughs>